Simply Wall Street portfolio walkthrough in five minutes. Let's go. I'm just going to start off by showing you how to create a portfolio. So you'll notice I'm already in the portfolios tab and I'm going to click new portfolio. Now you're given a few different options here. The first one is actually to create a link with your broker directly. The advantage of doing that is the portfolio will always be in sync, but often it will not include the full transaction history. To get the full transaction history, you need to go to your broker and download or export that full history. And then we go here to add it. So I'm going to upload a file that I already have downloaded from earlier. And whilst it's uploading, we actually use AI to process that file. So you can actually upload any format you want, even a PDF, Excel, whatever you have and give it to us and we will figure it out for you. That's done. So I'm going to just review that review all the transactions and that looks good. So I click save. Where I start is in the holdings tab. Holdings tab, we've got an overview of your performance, which you could also call your equity curve. Remember that you can actually change the index that you want to benchmark to. You can choose one of the, the you know, the common indexes, but you can also change the, the market. We also have the annualized return or the internal rate of return. Best way to think about that is what would be the return of your portfolio on a yearly basis from when you first started it, when you first started transacting. And also we have our portfolio snowflake here, which is all of the companies in your portfolio and combined to say, well, what does the snowflake of your, of your portfolio look like? We also want to just remind you that we have the portfolio hub here. This is now, if you have portfolios, say multiple portfolios within one broker or lots of different brokers or in different brokers in different countries, we're going to pull them all together here in one place. We're going to do the snowflake for all of them together. And you can even choose the currency that you want to see them in. So you can, you have, you have that option. Also in this, I've just gone back to the holdings view here. In this holdings view, we can customize the view. So depending on your style of investing, you can actually change from the default to, for example, if I was a dividend investor, I actually might prefer the income view where I've got the, you know, dividend type uh, metrics here. Or I could say, for example, choose the, the value view where I have very much the valuation metrics there. So choose the view that best suits your style of investing. Also, I'll just show you, remember, I am on my laptop at the moment, but everything I'm going through is also available on our mobile app. It is literally exactly the same. So download the mobile app and get set up there as well. After you've linked your portfolio, or uploaded your transactions, the next thing I recommend you do is to go into narratives. Narratives is a really game changing way to manage and build a portfolio, because it shifts you away from that very emotional kind of on a whim style of decision making, which is often when you make poor decisions towards using a framework, which we use narratives for to make good quality, consistent decisions. And so when you come in here, you can choose the narrative that you want to follow for each of your companies. And I'm just going to use an example for Tesla. So I'm going to go in here and look at the different narratives that are available for Tesla. Now you can go and create your own narrative and I will link to a video on how, how easy it is to go and make your own one. But for a company like Tesla, there are lots and lots of community narratives to choose from. And again, we don't have time in this walkthrough. But I'm just going to choose one from this list. So for example, let's say I want to go with this one Moonbagger. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But anyway, normally I would go and read it. But I'm just for the sake of this video going to choose that one as my fair value. And once I set that as my fair value, I am now going to get alerts when it hits that fair value, when that narrative changes, or if there's any discussions going on relative, you know, relevant to that narrative. The next tab we want to check out is returns. In the returns tab, we're now doing those detailed returns from the transactions that you that you've given us. The unrealized returns here. Now this is the same number that you're going to get from your broker or from a kind of a basic portfolio tracking app. That's just the amount you paid versus the current price for the shares. But what you're missing on all of those apps is then the realized returns, which is the returns you're making when you sold and the dividends, which is the for the shares that you held at the time. So depending on their transactions, all of those dividends we've automatically processed for you. And if that account does hold shares in multiple currencies, again, we'll do those currency conversion for you here. You can also go down here and for each individual stock, 
you can not only see all those transactions, but you can see we have automatically entered all of the dividends for you and any stock splits. So all of that stuff you really just don't have to worry about. Let's go over to updates next. Um, on the updates tab, we are going to keep track of your portfolio for you. We're going to look and we're going to notify you when there's any new earnings. Obviously, I'm recording this video outside of earnings season, so there hasn't been anything new, but soon there will be. Um, so earnings updates, changes in valuation, and of course, changes in those narratives that you're following or new narratives, dividend announcements, insider trading, anyone in those companies that's trading, uh, buying or selling, any insiders, and of course, any new risks that we spot. So this updates tab has always got um, fresh information. If you have the mobile app, you'll get a notification on this and we'll also send you an email. So we are going to keep um, track of your portfolio on your behalf. In the dividends tab, we're really looking at helping you forecast out your dividend income. I have a whole video all about dividend investing. It will probably change the way you think about dividend investing and it explains how to build a dividend portfolio. So I'm going to link to that video in the description. And, we'll, and that goes into this and much more uh, in that video. So this is all about the dividends tab. And we also have the analysis tab. In the analysis tab, we are taking all of that rich analysis that we have on individual stocks, and we're now doing it at the portfolio level. To give you a little example, here is the price to earnings ratio of your portfolio, which is the weighted average of all of the companies that you own. Or we have the dividend growth rate. So how much are the companies in your portfolio growing their dividends on an annual basis? Down here, we've got diversification across different sectors and industries. And then we also have another way of looking, looking at diversification, which is by revenue. So the companies that you own, where do they make money? Like what countries do they actually derive their revenue from? It's a very important way. It's not really the companies that countries that the companies are listed in that really matters is where they make their money. So this is another way of looking at diversification. That was a real whirlwind tour of portfolio. I've covered a lot very quickly. So please dive in, take a look. And remember that if you don't have time to set a portfolio up, we've always got a demo portfolio that you can explore. But also Simply Wall Street is way, way, way more than what I've just shown you. I've just shown you the portfolio part, but Simply Wall Street is actually your portfolio command center and we actually help you grow your portfolio. We've got an amazingly powerful stock screener. We've got pre-made investing views and we have a watch list where you can keep track on the stocks that you're thinking of maybe owning. And this all ties together with narratives because narratives is our community of investors where we have lots of different ideas, companies you've probably never heard of before all being shared and, and, uh, and all available to you. So um, dive in and please, 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 um, this is a very quick video, but any questions that you have, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you or I might make another video. So thank you and see you soon.